check this out. I just happened to see this while I was driving in downtown Pensacola. I'm not really quite sure what it is. What is that? Pears? I think those are limes. Free eggs? No way. Uh -uh. Nothing here. But it's not open. Driving underneath the 110 bypass, it's like right across the street from the police headquarters. It looks like a lot of thought and love went into this. It's super cool. There's a lot of thought that went into this. <laughs> Looks like some people come here often. And recently. What's the purpose? I need to know. I took old toilets. I think old toilets. I hope that's good. That's pretty amazing. Looks like they have a live, live music maybe or plays over there. This is super cool. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Um, if you've never been here before, hey, how you doing? I'm Clinton. Uh, I do need to apologize for my attire because I'm wearing a sleeveless shirt. But you have to understand, uh, it is Florida. It's the summertime right now. Uh, the heat index is unbearable, and this seems to be the most fitting. Even a long sleeve shirt to me right now feels like a long sleeve shirt. Um, I also have to apologize because I flipped it inside out because I have logos on it. Uh, same with my hat, which I don't care. This one right here, this is a local company uh, that my sister's a part of, and they're, they're about to start partnering up with them to start doing um, t-shirt designs, so... I guess that's okay. Well, obviously, if you look at my size, I'm a big boy. I love to eat, and uh, I am in the restaurant industry, so generally when I go out to eat, uh, I act as if I've never even been in a restaurant before because I, 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 like anybody else, enjoy the experiences, and uh, I myself favor more mom and pop restaurants, and so I think Pensacola has been doing a great job at that. Uh, where I live at in Fort Walton, there's a lot of... Uh, more corporate-like restaurants. Uh, they are starting to build more uh, mom and pops that are, uh, concepts that I will share here, um, which I'm very excited about as well. Um, and Destin as well. Destin has a lot of those type of restaurants too. Um, more touristy uh, from what I see, but there are a few mom and pop things that I think uh, are getting a lot of recognition and we'll explore that as well. So the four different places in, in Pensacola that I go to, and yes, I said four because I can't come up with a, a fifth just yet. Uh, so at a very, very, very uh, hard four, um, I'm gonna have to go with Five Sisters located in downtown Pensacola. Um, I typically go there for a fried chicken day and it's like on Wednesdays. Uh, it's very good Southern food. Um, their, their sides are amazing. I, I typically get like uh, the uh, the fried chicken with uh, mashed potatoes and the macaroni cheese. The dress code, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I, I, I go in there with like basketball shorts and a t-shirt and some my rainbow sandals often and just go sit at the bar. But uh, I do notice that people uh, go in there like more like uh, not not fine dining, but like 
casual, just uh, casual like you're going on a first date kind of thing or a business meeting. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just do me and then no one's kicked me out yet. Coming in at number three, uh, located in downtown Pensacola as well, is Hub Stacy's. Uh, I typically, whenever I think of them, I think of two things. One, uh, a great Cuban sandwich and really good potato salad. It is a bar situation. Uh, there is an outside dining area that sits right by the road. And uh, typically I see like people walking their dogs and across the street from where they are is where Pensacola will typically have like festivals like every other weekend, I feel like. From what I've seen on the menu, there's a, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of sandwiches. And generally, if I'm going there, I go there for their Cuban sandwich. It's one of the best Cuban sandwiches I've ever had. But if you think there's a different uh, Cuban sandwich around this area that I don't know about, let me know. Coming in at number two. Oh, it's, it holds very dear to my heart. In fact, I'm feeling like having it now. It is the best barbecue place I've been to in the Panhandle. Hot Spot Barbecue, located just off of Ninth Avenue. This is the best barbecue spot in all the Pensacola. Probably the Panhandle. They have like this giant smoker, but they sit like right by the road on 9th Avenue. That that was the first thing that drug me in. So I was really smart marketing. I was I think I was heading to the mall and it got caught up in my in my car, my AC unit, and I was like, man, I gotta stop there. Uh that was like a few years ago. And now I think I go like once a week. The ribs. The ribs is the main reason why I go. Um but I get the like the two plate thing. Um, I'm a big guy, I gotta have protein. So I get like a two plate with uh, rib pieces. I get their smoked sausage, but they also have brisket and pulled pork as well. I know that. Uh, and, then this, and then the sides, I love their mac, their baked mac and cheese and I love their beans. And then they come and sell like this uh, warm uh, squeeze bottle full of uh, like their own sauce that you can put on top of it. I'm a sauce guy. I'll, I'll eat anything you put in front of me, basically. It's magnificent. They're so great that I see like their catering trucks, um, catering truck um, in Fort Walton and Destin often. Like they cater all the way out there. Um, again, one of those small places that I think 50 people fit in, but uh, it's amazing. It's so great. Like, so if I ever get the, the notion for meat, I'll just go do that. And then coming in at number one, I was on YouTube and I, I, I heard that this Mexican truck was ranked like number three in the whole country. That's saying a lot. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. And I went all the way out to North Davis Highway uh, and found this sketchy looking food truck behind a sketchy looking shell station uh, next to a Dunkin' Donuts where I parked, by the way, and fell in love. Um, I go there all the time. Uh, I wish I could tell you that uh, it's sometimes, but I'm definitely there um, at least once a week as well. I get this, the Asada Steak Burrito. It's a massive, massive burrito. And also when I, um, I'll do the Lengua ta uh, Taco Supremes. Uh, for those who don't know what that is, that's, that's, that's cow tongue. But like some way like they season it is, is like different from any other place I've ever tried Lengua before. Like, if I hadn't tried Lengua at this food truck first, I wouldn't have ever tried it anywhere else. And no one else seems to compare to that. So, uh, oh, and the added bonus is like all the sauces they give you, they make them there. And just like uh, Hot Spot Barbecue, they got like four, one, two, I want to say a few smokers that you can literally watch as they're smoking all the meats, the poblanos, um, like right there in front of you, like you can tell it's fresh. And so, uh, yeah, I'm in love with the place. You you stay in line for a couple of minutes, like at most, I've never had to really wait too long. And it's, they're very fast. You order your uh, your food and then you just wait a couple minutes until they put it together and you are either can leave or you can eat it there. And I can tell they're doing very good because they've been doing like little modifications to the building. I hope they don't go anywhere anytime soon. So yeah, if you're looking for really good food uh, in the Pensacola area, definitely give them a shot. Uh, there's a couple of pizza places I want to try out next. I'll probably put that on the next one, but um, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'll talk to you later.